Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, and welcome to the second video in our series on Laser Imprints Hard Surface One Transfer Paper. In this video, we're going to show you how to use Laser Imprints Hard Surface One to imprint our Condi crystal and glass items. Now, those of you who might be familiar with our crystal line, remember a device that we called the Crystal Imprint System, which was basically a UV light oven that you used to adhere an image onto the back of crystal. You needed specialized glues and curing times with the UV light in order to get the image to adhere. But now that we have our Laser Imprints Go Uno printer and our Hard Surface One paper, I'm going to teach you how to use the Laser Imprints Go Uno printer along with the Hard Surface One paper and a heat press to image our line of crystal products. After that, I'll show you how to do a glass tile and finally a glass mirror. So let's go over to the heat press and get started. Let's get started with imprinting this piece of crystal using Laser Imprints Hard Surface One transfer paper. I have my piece of crystal here, and I have my transfer with my images ready to go. When it comes to imprinting crystal, remember, do not mirror or reverse your image. You always want to print right side up. But I will go ahead. Cut a transfer away. Now as far as the crystal is concerned, it doesn't really matter which side you image. But I'll go ahead and align the crystal up over my print to find the area I want to capture. Next, I'll take a few pieces of heat tape and use the heat tape to help secure my image. Now that I have my image secured with heat tape, I'm ready to move over to my press. Now, a few things I want to point out. On my press, I have what we call our Nomex felt pad. While this pad is not necessary to use with the crystal, I highly recommend it because we have to apply a lot of pressure to the crystal and because it is such a heavy piece, the foam insulation pad here from this Nomex felt will keep us from indenting the bottom rubber of our heat press. So I like to use it. I'll go ahead and put my foam pad down, sheet of copy paper just to protect, take my design and my crystal piece, laying the image side face up. Next, I want to cover it with the foam pad that was provided in every pack of Laser Imprints Hard Surface One paper. As you can see, the foam pad can be reused. Mine has been sandwiched down a great deal, but it's still viable. Gently lay the foam pad over. We'll swing our heat press into position, and we're going to press this crystal at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for one minute with heavy pressure. Once our timer goes off, we're going to remove the crystal and we're going to allow the transfer to completely cool before we remove the backing sheet. So check back in with me and I'll show you the finished result. So here we have our piece of crystal that I have let cool down completely. I'm going to remove my tape. and gently peel away the backing sheet. Like so. And now, we have our finished piece of crystal using Laser Imprints Hard Surface One. The next item we're going to use with Laser Imprints Hard Surface One is this glass tile that I purchased from a major retailer here in town. As you can see, it's got the glass surface, but it kind of has this green underbase to it. I found an image that I think is going to look really cool with this glass tile. I'll take my tile, take my design, use a few pieces of heat tape to secure the image, 
gently flip it over, protective sheet, and again, I like to use Nomex felt. It's not a requirement, but I like to use it. Place our tile down. Remember to cover it with the foam pad that was provided with your pack of Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1. If for some reason you lose your foam pad, you can use an eighth inch thick heat conductive rubber pad and it should still work. You might have to adjust your time, but it can work. So now we'll swing our heat press over and we'll use the same settings that we did on the crystal for this glass tile, 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. And again, we got to let the hard surface one paper completely cool before we remove it from the substrate. So check back with me and I'll show you the finished result. Here's our finished glass tile done with Laser Imprints Hard Surface One transfer paper. Again, I press this tile at 300 degrees for 60 seconds. I let the backing sheet completely cool and then I removed it from the tile. As you can see, because of the color background in my image, it almost gives a three-dimensional effect to the design, which I think is pretty cool. However, because of the bevel of the glass, you'll notice that the image did not get all the way to the edge. Some people might consider this a good product. Others might consider this a failure. If you ever have a failure with Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1, later on in the video I'll show you a process how you can save product with Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1 paper by correcting your mistakes. But now, let's go ahead and attempt to do the mirror tile with Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1. Now let's tackle this product. This is a mirror tile that again I purchased from a local retailer. Let's go ahead and print this with Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1. The first thing I want to do is take some window cleaner, give it a quick spritz, and make sure I'm working with a clean surface area. Like so. Now, I'll take my image, and in this case, I'm going to lay my image down, place my mirror over, use a few pieces of heat tape to help secure the image so it doesn't move. Now because this piece of glass is bigger than the acrylic pieces that we've been working with before, I'm going to have, go ahead and readjust my time. Instead of going for one minute, I'm going to go for two minutes, 30 seconds. Also, I'm going to remove my Nomex felt pad because we need heavy pressure on this substrate. So by removing the felt pad, I should get a firm pressure with just the rubber pad on the bottom of my heat press. I'll just use a sheet of butcher paper to make sure that the press is protected. I will take my mirror with my image taped, lay it face up. Again, make sure to cover it with your foam pad. And because we are using a bigger piece of glass here, again, I'm going to readjust my time and I'm going to press this item at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 2 minutes 30 seconds. I always want to make sure I use a good firm pressure when it comes to the laser imprints hard surface one paper on glass or crystal. When our timer goes off we want to make sure that we allow the mirror to completely cool before we remove the transfer paper. So we're going to let this time out, we're going to let it completely cool Catch me in a minute and I'll show you the finished result. I'm going to remove my heat tape and peel away the transfer in a slow, steady motion. And now we have a very cool decorated mirror done with laser imprints hard surface one.
Remember earlier in the video when I mentioned it may be possible to correct mistakes done with laser imprints hard surface one? Let me show you how it's done. Let's say for the sake of argument we want to remove this image from our glass tile. All we need is a can of acetone. I'll pour a little bit of acetone like so. Use this syringe so I'm not pouring acetone everywhere. Pour acetone over the design laid down with the hard surface one paper. Take a paper towel. and start wiping your design. As you can see, the acetone will remove the image placed on by the laser imprints hard surface one paper. Now we can reprint the same tile. Now let's quickly review what we've learned today with laser imprints hard surface one transfer paper when applying it to acrylic crystal glass pieces. When it comes to printing crystal pieces or acrylic Remember, do not mirror or reverse your image. You want to print your image right side up. But on standard glass or mirrors, make sure to mirror or reverse your image. The press temperature is at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The press time can vary anywhere from 60 seconds to a small substrate to two and a half minutes depending on the size of your glass. Remember, you want to cold peel the backing sheet. So allow your item to completely cool before you remove that backing sheet. If you have any questions about the techniques we just demonstrated, don't hesitate to contact us directly at 1-800-826-6332 or you can visit our website at www.condi.com for more information. And also make sure to tune in to condytv.com for more videos featuring laser inference hard surface one transfer paper. Until then, my name's Doug DeWitt, product manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up and I thank you for yours.